Hey guys, Mike here and in this clip we're reviewing the HP MV6 Ultrabook. You should be aware that we are testing the HP MV6 T1000 here, the Ultrabook built on an Intel Ivy Bridge hardware platform and not the cheaper MV6Z Sleekbook that runs on an AMD APU. Long story short, the MV6 is a 15.6 inch laptop with a sleek and light body, able to offer solid everyday performances while starting at around $800. See the rest of this video for in-depth details. <laughs> We're going to start by taking a look at the exterior as the MV6 is a slim notebook only 0.8 inches thick and weighing 4.7 pounds while the average 15.6 inch laptops are way bulkier and heavier. HP offers the MV6 in two color options, I got to play with the standard one that comes with a black aluminum hood and interior and dark red plastic bottom and sides blended together into a solid build device. Smudges and fingerprints are a bit annoying on the black finish, but besides that, there's nothing wrong with this laptop. The ports are on the sides and except for VGA, the HP 6 offers everything we usually get on notebooks in this class. On the left, there's the LAN adapter, HDMI output, two USBs, a card reader and some status LEDs. On the right, you'll get the Kensington lock, the headphone and mic jacks, another USB and the PSU. As for the bottom, this one is made from this smooth rubbery plastic and only offers a bunch of cooling grills as there's no quick way to access the battery or the internals. Lifting the lid cover, you'll notice the same dark aluminum used for the palm rest and the sides while there's some regular plastic between the keys and the plastic grill on top that covers the Beats audio speakers. The 15.6 inch screen does have a small bezel, but unfortunately that's made from glossy plastic and will catch fingerprints. On top of the display there's a True Vision HD webcam. The screen itself is glossy as well, which means you'll have a hard time using this computer in strong light, plus it only comes with 1366 by 768 pixels resolution. I for one would have definitely appreciated something like 1600 by 900 pixels on a 15.6 inch display, but that's not even available as an extra option here. The brightness and colors are fairly alright, as long as you're looking at the screen straight on. Otherwise, the viewing angles are quite poor and the images will quickly wash out, especially since the screen does not lean on its back as much as I'd want. There's a wide full-size keyboard on this HP without a numpad area, which leaves more space for the regular keys. As a result, this keyboard is spacious. The square flat keys offer decent feedback and the overall typing experience is alright, although the flex and the stickiness of some of the keys jaded sometimes. My test unit did not feature a backlit keyboard, but that's actually available as an option on HP's website and will cost you $20 extra. The trackpad is wide and performs ok most of the time. The cursor can get occasionally jumpy and the entire clickable surface is a bit too stiff, which means that registering commands isn't as smooth as it should but you'll probably get used to that in time. As a proper Ultrabook, the HP MV60 is built on an Intel Ivy Bridge platform. To be specific, there's an Intel Core i5-3317U inside our test unit, 6GB of RAM, AMD's Radeon 7670 HD graphics and hybrid storage and this is in fact almost the top config you can get for this laptop. As a result, this MV6 is fast, despite not sporting an SSD and it will perform a lot faster after you get rid of most of the crapware HP bundles on it. It will handle the daily multitasking at ease and it will even cope with some serious tasks like editing videos or clips, running all sorts of multimedia content and even games. So I could say that this laptop is powerful enough to meet the requirements of an average user. For enthusiasts though, don't forget that an ULV platform and a mainstream graphics system can only offer that much. If you're interested in benchmarks and more tests of this HP MV6, head over to our in-depth review at ultrabookreview.com, there's a link below in the description that will take you right there. This laptop is going to run overall fairly cool and quiet as long as you're not pushing it, so during daily use the bottom will only get slightly warm and the fan will only become active from time to time, but if you're planning to run games you should expect the underbelly to get quite hot, although the cooling system will not actually get considerably louder. 
you get Beats Audio branded speakers on this laptop, placed on top of the keyboard and I must say that the sound quality of this HP is above average and definitely superior to what you get on standard 15.6 inch laptops even with the volume turned towards maximum. HP fitted a 4 cell 56 watt hour battery inside this unit and they claim you could squeeze close to 9 hours of life out of it. In real life I only managed to get about 4.5 hours of daily average use and close to 5 hours of looping an HD movie on power saver mode. As we head towards the end of this review we should also mention that the HP MV60 currently starts at about $800, while this particular config that we tested here will get you closer to 900 bucks. That's a bit expensive for a 15.6 incher but still a good price for an ultrabook. All in all, the HP MV6 is an interesting 15.6 inch laptop and one of the few ultrabooks available in this class. It's definitely thinner and lighter than most of its competitors and aesthetically appealing as well. It's fast enough for the average daily tasks but can also deal with games or HD movies and that Beats Audio sound system really enhances its multimedia abilities. On the other hand, the keyboard and the trackpad, the screen and the battery life are already alright but some of you might find them just not good enough. In the end, it's up to you to decide if the HP MV60 is worth the cash and should or should not become your next ultrabook. My written review will help you with more in-depth details about this unit, there's a link towards it in the description below. That's about it for this video review, don't forget to share it to your friends and subscribe to our channel if you liked it. Until next time, Mike out.